Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to talk about Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. So let's suppose we have a container here and in this container we've got three different gases. We've got nitrogen gas, we've got hydrogen gas, and we've got oxygen gas. And I tell you the amounts of each gas present in this container. We've got six moles of nitrogen, we've got three moles of hydrogen, and we've got one and a half moles of oxygen. Furthermore, I tell you that the temperature of the uh, gas that is in this container is 300 K. And I tell you the volume of the gas that is in this container is 100 liters. And I ask you to calculate the total pressure of the gas that is in this container. Well, according to Dalton's law of partial pressure, the total pressure that will exist in this container here will be equal to the pressure exerted by the nitrogen gas plus the pressure exerted by the hydrogen gas plus the pressure exerted by the oxygen gas. So Dalton's law of partial pressure tells us that the total pressure of a gas held in a container is equal to the sum of all the pressures of all the gases in that container. Okay, so in order, to, in order for us to figure out this problem, in order for us to figure out the total pressure inside of this container here, we would first have to figure out the pressure of this nitrogen gas we would then have to figure out the pressure exerted by the hydrogen gas and we would then have to figure out the pressure exerted by the oxygen gas once we had these three values here we can simply add them up and we would get the final pressure that exists in this container here so how would we calculate the pressure of the nitrogen gas here how would we calculate or determine the pressure of the hydrogen gas and how would we calculate the pressure that the oxygen gas is exerting. Well, we can use the ideal gas law. And if you take a look at the video that precedes this, we talk about the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, where in this problem here, if we wanted to calculate the pressure of the nitrogen, the volume is 100 liters, the temperature is 300 K, the number of moles is six, and R is the universal gas law constant, we would then be able to solve for P here, and we would get the pressure of the nitrogen gas that is exerted in this container. We can use the same process or formula to figure out how much pressure the hydrogen exerts, and we can then figure out how much pressure the oxygen exerts using the same formula. Once we had these three values, we can add them up, and we would get the total pressure that exists in this container. So let's take a look at a couple of examples uh, using Dalton's law of partial pressures here. Let's suppose a 150 liter steel vessel contains two moles of nitrogen gas, three moles of oxygen gas, and 4.2 moles of hydrogen gas at a temperature of 350 K. We want to determine the pressure inside this vessel. So we have some sort of container that contains three different gases. We've got nitrogen gas, we've got oxygen gas, and we've got hydrogen gas. And the gas in this uh, container is occupying a volume of 150 liters and its temperature is 350 K. And what we want to figure out is the pressure, the total pressure that is inside this container or vessel. All right, so how do we do this? Well, in order to do this, we have to calculate the pressure that the nitrogen gas exerts. So the first thing we'll have to do is calculate the pressure that the nitrogen gas exerts. We will then calculate the pressure that the oxygen gas exerts. And we will then calculate the pressure that the hydrogen gas exerts. Once we figure these out, we quite simply will be able to calculate the total pressure that exists in this vessel. So let's first figure out the pressure that the nitrogen uh, gas exerts. Now we know that the ideal gas law states that PV equals N times R times T. And if we want to solve for P, I divide both sides by V and it looks like P is going to equal N times R times T over V. So this is the formula that we're going to use to figure out the individual pressures of each gas. So to get the pressure of the nitrogen, I am going to take N times R times T and we're going to divide by V here. And so the number of moles of nitrogen in this problem is two moles times R, 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin times the temperature here. The temperature of this gas is going to equal 350 K. 
and we're going to end up dividing this by the volume which is 150 liters so we'll put this in the calculator here and we end up with 0 0.383 All right, so the pressure that the uh, nitrogen gas is exerting in this vessel is going to be 0.383 atmospheres. Now we need to do the same thing for the oxygen. So to get the pressure that the oxygen is exerting, I'll take NRT over V. And the number of moles of oxygen here is 3 moles times the universal gas law constant, 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin times the temperature which is 350k and we're going to divide this by the volume here which is 150 liters put this in the calculator we take 3 times 0 0.0821 times 350 and we're going to divide this by 150 and we end up with 0 0.575 All right, so there's the pressure that the uh, oxygen gas is going to exert. Now we have to calculate the pressure that the hydrogen gas will exert, and we'll use the same formula, NRT over V. The number of moles of hydrogen gas here is 4.2 moles times the universal gas law constant, 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin times the temperature which is 350k and we're going to divide this all by running out of room here 150 liters so we'll take 4.2 times 0 0.0821 times 350 and we're going to divide that by 150 and we should end up with point zero point eight zero five. All right, so we just figured out the individual or the partial pressures of each gas. And now to get the total pressure, I add these three numbers up right here. I add the individual or partial pressures up. So I'll take 0 0.383 plus 0.575 plus 0 0.805. And it looks like I'm going to end up with 1.763. So the total pressure inside of this container here is going to end up being 1.763 atmospheres. All right, let's take a look at another example here. In this example here, it says a steel vessel contains nitrogen gas exerting 2.5 atmospheres of pressure, oxygen gas exerting 20 psi, and helium gas exerting 1500 torres. Calculate the total pressure inside uh, the vessel in atmospheres. So in this problem here, the pressures of each gas are already given. We've got two and a half atmospheres for this first gas. We've got uh, 20 PSI for the second gas. And we've got 1,500 tors here for the third and final gas. The issue is that each one of these units is different. This is in atmospheres, this is in PSI, and this is in tors. And our question here is asking us to determine the pressure in atmospheres. All right, so to get the total pressure here, it's quite simple. We take the uh, pressure of the first gas plus the pressure of the second gas plus the pressure of the third gas, and we should end up with our answer. However, before we can start plugging these values in, we need to make sure that all the units here are in atmospheres. So this right here, the gas's pressure, or the first gas's pressure is in atmospheres, we will now have to convert this to atmospheres. And in a prior video, we discussed how to do the pressure unit conversions. If you need some help, please refer to that. We're just going to chug along here. So the second gas's pressure in atmospheres is going to be 20 divided by 14.69. And I will end up with 1.362 atm. Okay, so now we've converted that. Now I've got to convert this third pressure 
to atmospheres. And the way I convert tors to atmospheres is to divide by 760, and I'll end up with 1.974. Oh, let me make this more legible here. This ends up being 1.974 atmospheres. All right, so now we've got uh, all the units in atmospheres, and so now to get the total pressure, I simply take the first pressure, which is 2.5 atm, plus the second gas's pressure, which is 1.362, plus the third gas's pressure, which is 1.974, And I should end up with my answer. So I take 2.5 plus 1.362 plus 1.974, and I end up with 5.836. So the total pressure in this container is going to be 5.836. All right, so Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures states that the total pressure inside of a container is going to be equal to the individual gases or the sum of the individual gases pressure. So I hope this was helpful.